Hi, my name is Greg Cameron. I am currently a student at the University of West of Scotland on Priest Campus. I am studying the Applied Enterprise course and I'm currently in my fourth year, which is my honours degree year, and that will be finished up in a couple of weeks' time. Today I'm going to give you a talking head on things such as my key skills, as it pertains to employment, my experience, my commitment levels and my knowledge for things such as the human resources sector and the sports coaching sector, which are two areas that I'd love to get into for future employment. First and foremost, the, the main key skill that I believe I have is to be IT literate. In the modern work environment, not just for human resources and sports coaching, I believe it's key to, to have a high proficiency level of, of IT literacy because in many work environments, your work is done on computers and online and it's key that you are well versed in all of Microsoft Office's programs from Word to Excel to PowerPoint and, and so forth. It allows you to get the work done and I believe that I am very, very good at, at this. As well as this, my report writing is something I believe that I have honed over my time at Dumfries and Galway College where I studied fitness, health and exercise for two years and got my HND and it's been further improved on when I've came to university through the Applied Enterprise course. More so in the human resources sector than in the sports coaching sector, report writing is key because you need to write reports on, on personnel and on decisions and reasons as to why you've made certain choices. And I believe that I have a high level of literacy and I express myself very well in written form and this is something I can bring to any company that I work for. As well as this, I have other key skills such as working as a team, planning and organising, I can work on my own as well. My people skills are, are very, very good. I currently work at Sports Direct on Fries. This is a, an environment where you have to deal a lot of time with challenging customers and you learn very quickly how to, how to deal with these customers and how to get the best outcome for not only them but for yourself. As well as this, some staff members can be very, very challenging at times as well. And you do you learn how to, to work with them to get the best out of your job. I believe my people skills have also been further enhanced by not only my time at university and college, where I've had to work with people I wouldn't usually associate myself with or see myself working with, but people of different age groups, such as mature students. This on the flip side has also been improved by my time as a sports coach at uh, local not-for-profit company Let's Get Sporty which leads sports coaching to kids from 18 months to 12 years of age in Dumfries and Galloway and the surrounding towns and villages. This has allowed me to, to see how to deal with situations that arise when you're working with kids of, of all ages and I believe that I have the necessary skills to work with people from 18 months all the way to, to old age pensioners. My commitment levels, I have been working at Sports Direct now for over two years. This is a, a job that I never thought I'd see myself sticking out, but for the necessary reasons and my own personal reasons I have stuck, stuck it out. I could have left numerous times to, to go elsewhere, but I do enjoy the people that I work with and I enjoy certain aspects of the job that I do and I promised myself that I wouldn't leave unless it was for something better so I'm committed to making not only my own personal life better but to committed to sticking out and seeing tasks and jobs through and that's something that I believe not only my supervisors but my managers would also agree with. I'm committed as well because I've had to get to university the, the unorthodox and some would say the roundabout way. Uh, my grades at school meant that I couldn't get into the course that I initially wanted to get into at university so I had to go to, to college in Dumfries and Galloway where I did two years on the fitness health and exercise program. I did my HNC and subsequently my HND at this college before applying to university and coming into Dumfries and Galloway's campus for University of West of Scotland and undertaking the applied enterprise course. This shows commitment to, like I said, not only bettering myself, but to sticking out and, and seeing things through and, and making sure I get where I want to be in life, even if it is the, the harder route or the more, the more round.
around about where you're getting that. In terms of knowledge uh, for for sports coaching, I have done a lot of a lot of sports coaching in the past. I have done it first and foremost off my own back. I used to go to one of the local primary schools and coach football there. I did this not not to be paid because I, I did it free of charge. I did it to improve myself and get more experience for future lines of work, but to also help the kids because they didn't have a, a coach at that time and, and I seen that they were missing out. So I took it upon myself to go and, and learn and improve myself and also give them some some help as well. This has been furthered by my time spent with Whitgate Sporting. I have a lot of experience coaching kids, like I said, from 18 months up to 12 years in all different sports, whether it be rugby, tennis, football, netball, handball, dance. I have went out and I've got myself qualifications in things like cricket in order to make myself a better coach and deliver a better service and make sure the kids and those who come along improve as well. In terms of human resources, I have undertaken modules at university where HR has been the module or it's been a part of a module. I've had examinations and passed these examinations for HR with flying colours. I have read numerous books from the likes of Vauxhall and Purcell on human resources and the frameworks involved in this. I also do a lot of the HR work for Let's Get Sporting. As well as coaching, I work in an office and look towards hiring new trainees and helping new trainees progress not only in the company by by putting them on courses, but by helping them outside of, of Let's Get Sporting and to get into further education or, or, or employment. My experience, like I said, my, my experience in HR goes as far as working for Let's Get Sporting, where I've done, like I said, numerous types of HR work for them. Uh, my coaching has also been done at Let's Get Sporting and off my own back. I believe that this shows I am willing to go out and improve myself and I'm willing to use my own initiative and work as part of a team and on my own to not only improve a service or a company but improve myself as well. Thank you very much. Bye.